Hi everybody and welcome to the VTK tutorial. Please open up your browser and search for VTK. This is the VTK website and you can go to resources download. Let's download the zip file containing the source for the VTK build. VTK has finished download. You can open it and extract it using 7-zip or a similar archiving software. Now go ahead and create a folder called VTK in the C drive. Inside this folder, we'll create two more folders, one for source and the other for the build. Go back to the downloads folder and find the extracted VTK build and copy the source. Into the new source folder that we just created. In order to compile this VTK build, we will require a software called CMake. So let's go ahead and type CMake in our browser. Download. And since we are on Windows, let's just get the installer. Installing CMake is pretty straightforward. Now that we have CMake, let's launch CMake. GUI. In the CMake GUI, you can see here that there are two entries, one for the source and let's browse for the VTK source folder. In my C drive, VTK source. And then we had also created a bin folder VTK bin. Now before we proceed forward you might have to go and disable your antivirus for some time because the antivirus might interfere with the compilation process. Now please click configure. CMake asks you the compiler that you would like to use for compiling the build and since I am on Windows I have Visual Studio installed and I will be using Visual Studio for the compilation. This might take some time depending on the configuration of your system. Once the initial configuration completes we can see that CMake provides us with a lot of options for the build. Over here, let's check build examples and let's keep build testing unchecked. Before we press configure again, while building the example, CMake might throw up some errors due to missing modules. So to avoid that, let's click on advanced. Find the module module underscore VTK testing core and module underscore VTK testing rendering. Check these both and let's go ahead and press configure once again. And then once the configuration is done, let's click on Generate.
Now let's go back to the VTK folder we had created earlier and in the bin folder you will find that CMake has created Visual Studio project files. So find the solution file Microsoft Visual Studio solution and open it. In Visual Studio, right click on All Build and click on Build. This will take quite some time depending on the configuration of your Alright, so the build has completed and now VTK should be installed. Now you can head over to C Program Files there should be a folder VTK 6.1.0 and in that you shall find a folder having all the necessary DLLs for programs that use the VTK library. Now before we proceed further to running the VTK examples let me copy this path and go ahead and add it to the system path variable. So go ahead and go to my computer properties advanced system settings environment variables find the variable path edit it add a semicolon and paste the path having all the libraries from VTK Alright, so now we are set to running the examples. You can find many examples for the VTK library online. For this example, I will be tr using a sphere rendering example. The end result of this program should be the sphere as you can see here. This example has two files. The first one is a sphere.cxx file, which is the main program which has C++ code inside it. The second file is used by CMake for building the project. It's called cmakelists.txt. Let's go ahead and try to build this example. I'll go to my documents, Visual Studio, Projects, and create a folder VTK1. I will again create two folders, one for the source and the other for the build. Let's go ahead and create a new text file. Let's name it sphere.cxx. I'll open this file and let me quickly paste the code inside this file. Then we also have to create the text file that has the CMake library requirements. So let's name the file and then paste the code. Let's go ahead and open CMake again. Let's find the source, Documents, Visual Studio, Projects, VTK1 source, and the bin directory, Documents, Visual Studio, Projects, VTK1 bin. Let's configure. Let's click on configure again and then generate. 
the Visual Studio files are here. Let's open the solution file using Visual Studio. Right click on all build and build. The build has succeed succeeded. Now let's go to the debug folder and spear.exe has been built by Visual Studio. Let's execute this. I will copy the path. Run CMD. CD into that path. And run the executable. There. The spear has been rendered.